Hello everybody, this is the Election Predictor back with another video today. Today we're going to have an election prediction. Uh, this is, I get a bit, I guess, a bit of a funner video, or, like, definitely, uh, not really meant to be taken seriously, but obviously the prediction will be made seriously, but the candidates, obviously, um, um, Tiffany, excuse me, not Tiffany, what am I saying, Chelsea Clinton, and, um, God, I'm blanking on Trump's daughter's name. Um, geez, how am I forgetting your name? Um, give me one second. I'm going to search this up. Oh, Ivanka Trump. Sorry, I didn't search it up, by the way. I just, it came to me. Uh, Chelsea Clinton versus Ivanka Trump. I'm obviously going to be making the prediction as well as I can, um, and as seriously as I can, but I'm not saying that the candidates will actually be those people. But anyway, let's just get to the safe Democrat states, obviously the West Coast. I'll include Illinois as well, um, and pretty much the East Coast. I think that Chelsea actually will do pretty well on the East Coast. She does have that sort of, I don't know, personality and charisma. Uh, and also Ivanka safe states. You know, I'll still give her the classical Republican safe states. Although I do think Ivanka has more of a <clears throat> an East Coast appeal as well as a suburban women appeal. And same with Chelsea. They both have that suburban women appeal, so... It is going to be a bit closer um, with all of the races. Um, and that's it for the safe races. Now let's get to likely Democrat races. I'm going to put as a likely Democrat race, let's see. Let's. I'm going to put Colorado as a likely Democrat race. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be the only likely Democrat race I characterize. Likely Republicans <clears throat> will be Iowa and Ohio. And that's going to be it for likely Republicans. Lean Democrats will be Maine at large. Um, New Mexico will lean to the Democrats, as well as Minnesota. <clears throat> um, and that's actually going to be it. I'm going to leave Virginia out of it. I do think Virginia will be closer, especially since Ivanka was is running. But um, you know, we'll see. Texas will go to Ivanka by a lean margin, as well as I do believe Florida will, with Trump campaigning for her. Um, I'm going to leave North Carolina out of it. Um, and actually that's all I'm going to characterize. So now tilt Democrat, Virginia will tilt Democrat, Nevada will tilt Democrat. Um, let's go back to some tilt Republicans. I think New Hampshire will tilt Republican. I think that Ivanka actually will do a bit better there. Maine second will tilt Republican. Nebraska second will tilt Republican. Obviously a few little districts. Um, uh, and then New Hampshire, which is another small state. I do think Ivanka will get that suburban vote there. I think that North Carolina will also tilt Republican. Now let's go to a tilt Democrat. I think that Georgia will tilt Democrat. I think that Clinton, surprisingly, will do pretty good with the black vote, even maybe even a little bit better than Biden. I don't think Ivanka will do particularly well. She'll probably be she'll probably do much better with the Hispanic population. Also, Michigan is a tilt Democrat state. A tilt Republican state, I think that Arizona will tilt Republican. I think that Ivanka will gain some Hispanic support. Um, I actually, you know, in, 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 in I just think that they would actually be inclined to vote for Ivanka. I guess that's more of a gut feeling, but, you know, that's obviously up to everyone else's perceptions. Um, and I do think Ivanka would do better in a debate against Chelsea. I think she is slightly more, I guess, poised. Um, and would maybe uh, articulate everything a bit better, but that's just, I guess, my personal opinion. I think she would also tilt Wisconsin Republicans, so now it's basically down to Pennsylvania, and I think that Chelsea Clinton would win Pennsylvania, win the presidency, which is another very close election between Democrat and Republican, 277 to 261, almost as close as it gets, uh, although we did have an incredibly close election in 2000 with Al Gore um, and George Bush. But... Here we go. Now you can see the whole map at large. I do think um, Chelsea would carry Pennsylvania with the black vote, and I do think they, they would, Democrats would be able to slowly or very um, barely grasp onto that state once more for an election cycle, giving them the victory and making Chelsea Clinton become the 47th president of the United States. <clears throat> but anyway, that's pretty much it for my video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel below. We're at 156 subscribers. Let's get to 175. That'll be awesome. And then on to 200. Um, also comment below if you disagree with anything, or if you, you know, want to share your own prediction, uh, I'd be more than happy to respond to that or, you know, like that. Um, and, um, like the video, unless I already said that, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed and have a great day.